Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we have Claude from Boston. Say hi. What's up, everybody? He's out here in California uh, doing some pretty cool stuff. And I wanted to bring him on the channel, have a little conversation. We just met actually like four days ago. <laughs> and I just want to have a conversation with him about uh, life, uh, getting the shit end of a stick, going through hard times, and uh, what to do when going through hard times and when life kind of throws shit right in your face, what to do. And uh, we've had a great conversation, and I wanted to just deepen that conversation, share it on my channel in case any of you guys are going through tough stuff and you need some help getting through it. Because guess what? Sometimes life goes to shit. So, you want anything to say? Yeah, for sure. You know exactly what he said. It's, you know, and, and one thing we were talking about was how, like, it almost happens. Well, bad things. When they happen, it's a, it's always seems at the wrong time. But sometimes, when you're reaching this level, right, where something really good happens, and, and it feels like you're flying through the sky, it's like something happens to shoot you out of it. And you know, what are your thoughts on that though, and everything? Uh, well, like we've talked about, I do feel like once you get the t to the top and you up upgrade externally, that you have to internally because like. Once we get to the top of the mountain that we're climbing and we're climbing and we're climbing, and we, there's a big prize up there, and then you like you get the prize, and there's a big turd underneath the prize, <laughs> just to Gosh. remind you, like you know, Gosh. you're still human, and uh, having having an experience, and um, yeah, that's what I think about that. 100 percent, because it's like we go through life and all these things happen that literally seem like your whole world is going to come crushing down. But in those moments, it's almost like a test. You know, it's testing our resilience. It's testing our faith. It's testing if we can handle this. And we have to go back into those situations and really ask those questions. Like, who am I? You know? Yeah. Can I handle this? And the answer is always yes. Even when it seems like you can't, you, you have to reach back inside of you every single time. You know, and kind of, one thing I love about the eagle and why I love birds so much is the way an eagle deals with a storm. It doesn't fly through it, it flies above it. So you kind of have to bring your consciousness and your awareness and your soul above those problems in a sense that you become the observer of them and you're watching them through a bird's eye view, you know, and, and kind of separate yourself from them. Because at the end of the day, it's an experience that is temporary. No matter what, it doesn't last forever. Like everything passes, like this too shall pass. And I think that's what always helps me. Yep, and uh, what's this, bro? This is your thumbprint. Yeah. The only, there's only one. Facts. Just like it, bro. There's only one thumbprint. Facts. Right? Right, and then no one else in this world, in this existence, will ever have a fingerprint like this. Yep. And that's what, you know, like you were just saying, that's, it's humbling, but it's empowering at the same time. Because when scientists discovered that every single one of us have a fingerprint and a gen genetic code that's so unique that nobody else in existence will ever have the fingerprint you have. From the beginning of time all the way into infinity, nobody is like you, nobody's like me, nobody is like you. That's how unique each one of us are. You know, so it's, I don't know, what are, what are some of the things that help you, like, on those days when you don't want to get out of bed? That's <laughs> <laughs> funny you say that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, you know, a little, a little something about that. Uh, so when I'm going through a really hard time and your life throws me a shit in and stick, the main thing that I've learned to do is to be still. To not react. The less, the less that I do, the better off I am. I recently was golfing with my friend Tom Phelan, and he told me to watch, just go watch Seinfeld. 
and I don't even I watched it I, mean, I watched the episode it was amazing and he's the the, the, the the thing to the story is like do the opposite of what you do and he ends up being like the coach for the Yankees and like the great great stuff happened to him and uh, that's kind of like how it is for me when I'm going through hard times and I have a hard time getting out of bed like that's that you know what like that's okay guess what you've been there you'll be there again I've been there <laughs> and uh it's it's uh it's very empowering too to 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 feel the feelings and really like just not just like just breathe through them but experience the pain in the body and cuz pain is like an energy that doesn't belong in the body and it's a temporary feeling that that basically if you you know if i take it on and like i i really like feel it 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 comes in and like it goes and it'll come in again and it'll go and for me like the the main things that i do is like i stay i don't pick up like drugs and alcohol i don't uh go like sleep with someone i don't go try to just distract myself with 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 stuff that's not making me feel anything stuff that's not really like making me feel closer to myself and like fulfill me Right. You know, there's a lot of things that are like distracting. It's really easy to, to, uh, and there's also a lot of a lot of things that can. It's, <laughs> no, I hear you. It's, a, it's 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 the process is is basically I'm not gonna go run a hundred thousand miles when I, it's right under my feet. Right. And I will do that. I will go. I will go like think that oh, if I write about this spiritual stuff, I do this meditation, I do this prayer, uh, I do all this work, that it's going to just be fixed. And that's not the reality. And my expectation will go there. So sometimes being still and doing nothing gives the best results. The more shit I touch with my hands, the less God has to touch with his hands. Right. And when I touch my hands on things too much, I mess things up. Everything in my life that I've put, like, besides probably doing yoga, because I put a shit of work in the bag. That's been good for me, but everything besides that that I have had like really good in my life, I haven't done a whole lot to do. Like one of my clients I was talking to today, Mark, it was like, dude, our relationship came because we were <laughs> we were on a yoga retreat. I couldn't figure out my ticket, and he just like helped me with that, and then, like made this amazing relationship. Like with you, I haven't done we haven't done anything to build our relationship, and it's I feel like it's great, Pass. and. Uh, which reels me all the way back to the first question. What do I do when I can't get out of the bed in the morning? And that's not, not believe that it's not okay that I'm there. And uh, take care of my side of the street. Do nothing. Doing nothing is like so much. And that is the hardest thing to do. Right. It's to not react. Not even not react. Not even not react but not react in a selfish self-seeking fearful way from like being a little kid like who doesn't get the things that he wants to like, exactly. feel good about throwing himself. a temper tantrum yeah just sense. sit and embrace and the root. pain root and embrace the pain and be still in it feel it and like let it pass and that is a dude it's so fucking empowering to do that without feeling like i gotta check these things off the list to feel better because the, the truth is if I'm at a place where I can't get out of the bed in the morning because I'm in pain, I go, guess what, Jacob? This is where you're at. Yeah. Deal with it. Be still. Don't go do anything. Because if you don't deal with it, that's when it manifests in so many different ways. And one thing you said that was really dope and really stuck out of me is like, when things like that happen, people will search for that quick fix. And so much of what we do when we do that, it's just coping mechanisms. You know, let me go work out the stress. Let me go have this drink. Let me go have sex. You know, let me go do this to try to take the pain away. The only way for the pain to alleviate is, like you said, is to sit with it, be still, embrace the pain. Because when you embrace the pain, you, you learn to understand it. And then you learn how to change that and transmute that into something else and channel that pain into passion and power, you know, and redirect that into your goals or into yoga or into your future or into yourself. And another thing you said that was dope was like walking a hundred miles searching for the answer when it's right under your feet. Dude, you know? every time. It's right here. Like always. It's right here. Dude, always. And what's under the feet, 
is that you're go, walking 100 miles to go look for. Yeah. After you get to done with 100,000 miles, you, you you realize, oh, it's been under my feet the whole damn right. time. Right. And I, I've like, dude, I, that's that is why we get to new practices that are, all come from the same, the same, you know, the same, same foundation, yeah. the same everything, like the yeah. whole thing. And it's been everything's been rewritten in so many different uh, aspects. Right. And it's all, it's all. It's all, it's all love and it's all there at your feet. And another thing too, it's like when you're feeling those pains and when life really knocks you down, or, you know, you get that that shit end of the stick where you don't want to, you don't want to get out of bed. There's nothing wrong. With you. That's one thing about you know some things in society and some perspectives that I think is damaging because you're feeling that pain doesn't mean you're broken and it doesn't mean there's something wrong. And I think that's the big fact that people need to realize because you didn't want to get out of bed that morning doesn't mean you're flawed you know it means that you're actually capable of experiencing emotion and that's a beautiful thing you're actually capable of being hurt and being capable of being hurt and, and being capable of feeling pain is also it's opposite polarity it's being capable of loving you know and it's being capable of feeling joy and giving joy, you know? So that's that's one thing I had to realize that really helped me on those days where I feel like that doesn't even matter for you. Yeah, it, honestly, like, when has it never worked out as we're sitting here right now? Exactly. All those times, I've had so many times where I sleep on the ground and I sleep on the ground because I'm so depressed that the next day I think it's gonna be easier to wake up in the morning. I've gone through so many of those days so those past experiences just are just evidence to get through the next one and the truth is it's like it's just right and wrong knowing the difference between right and wrong choosing to do right keep choosing to do right doing the right thing really good stuff happens in life and guess what sometimes doing the right thing is being still right and sometimes doing the right thing is doing what you don't want to do this you know like like the, the seinfeld show that i watched Tom Phelan told me to watch it. You guys like doing yeah. the because he always does the wrong thing, chooses the wrong thing, right. does the wrong action, and then he's like, "Shit, well, I'm just gonna do the complete opposite," and uh, he ends up, you know, like I right. said, having a, an amazing life. And Matt, he said, "Jacob, that's you. Yeah. Go watch the show, man." So I was like, "This was really recently, dude. What is today? Monday?" So it was like, it's like yesterday, yeah. and uh, yeah. it's like surrendering. And you know, when people hear that word surrender and it, it, it like that, they they think this weakness or like you're you're bound down to something. But no, you're surrendering to an outer circumstance that's out of your control. You know, the only circumstances we can control, like you're saying, is the circumstances within us. And when we control those circumstances within us, nothing in this outer world can really actually break us. It'll shake us up a bit, yeah. but it's not gonna like. It's not going to crumble you to a point where you can't survive. And and like you said, just uh, thinking about all the stuff you survived in the past, and then looking towards your future and realizing I survived all that. I'm going to survive this, you know. And these circumstances that are out of my control, I'm going to surrender to them. I'm going to be still, think, go internally, and that's when you can get up again and be that humble warrior and fight that fight to get over that circumstance and move past it, you know? But you, like like you said, the first, the first thing anyone should do in a situation is always be still. And that's, and I think that's huge that you said that because that's what so many different things, so many different things. Yeah, being still is, being still is, is really, really, really hard. Because it's, yeah, it's, it's practicing. All easier said than done. All easier said than done, for sure. Yeah, but it's doable. Yeah, true. It's very true. How much faith do you have in God? How much faith do you have in whatever you practice, whatever you believe in? How much faith do you have? It's a practice of faith because it's it's so it's like it's extremely hard to do, but it's very doable. And I've even done tests like when I'm when I'm like not doing well, then something's like really hurting me. I would be like, okay, for this week, I'm gonna be still and not do anything. See how I feel. See how I carry myself throughout the day. I'll wake it up in the morning, I'll go to sleep at night. Then I'm gonna do a, as much work as I can and then see how I wake up, see how I feel through the day, see how I go to sleep at night. 
And well, let me tell you, being still is it's always the answer. Right. It it is because it's like it's so hard to be still, but like I said, it's really doable. And with that, and with that being said, I'm not saying be still and like sit and meditate all day in your room and like do all this spiritual work, or whatever. I'm saying have the experience and not go share it with a bunch of people, not go talk about it with a bunch of people, uh, but let it just sit and be experienced within myself and uh, and like feel it and let it let it marinate for a week, and then do the and then do the opposite and like it's like the first way is so much better. I, I literally believe you should always have at least one person in your life that you could share everything with, you could talk to, and I do have that person, and this person is pretty much, like, just continue to shine the flashlight and be like, it's over there, you know, uh, it's somewhere over there on that page, or it's, yeah, it's right. might want to look over and, uh, section A through uh, <laughs> a through F on the alphabet. Shit, might have gone through A through Z. No, because telling me that telling me exactly the the right answer right. is going to take away my experience from learning it on your own, right? On my own, just like being a codependent. No, hundred percent, hundred percent. You know, and it's like, <laughs> like he was saying, it all easier said than done, but it's doable, but. When people hear be still, I think we should define it too. Like you said, it doesn't mean sitting there meditating, you know. It's it's literally going internally, you know, and asking those questions. What am I feeling? How am I feeling? What's going on inside of me? And then I think the most important things is no matter what, whenever you're in a situation and you're hurt or you feel like you've been abused, lied to, taken advantage of, taken for granted, disrespected, your feelings are valid because it's your experience. Nobody can tell you how to feel the feelings that you are feeling right now. All the feelings that you are feeling right now, those thoughts are all valid. And that's one huge step that, you know, really helped me. You know, like the way I'm feeling right now, it's valid, you know, because at the end of the day, we're in this world to interact with each other. If we were meant to be alone, we'd be on a random planet in the multiverse by ourselves. I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm ready to go there. <laughs> you know, but it's... I don't belong here. <laughs> right. No, I don't. I, can't, I, I probably don't either. Yeah. <laughs> but we're here, you know, we're here. So it's like, that's the thing. We have to... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pitch ourselves and remind ourselves, like, I'm here, I'm alive, you know, and this is just an experience. A temporary experience. One thing that the universe has taught us is that everything passes, night and day, seasons change, you know, and people are born, people die. Nothing in this world is permanent. So why knowing when nothing in this world is permanent, dwell on one situation for that long? And once you embrace it, that's when you overcome it and move on from it. Yeah. Here's the other thing too. But two things. One, the per- it, yes, you can have more than one person to talk to. However, it's very good that the conversation, like we're having, is in a really productive manner and not like re digging up into the past, like right. this kind of stuff. Morbid reflection is what right. it's called. What, what I like. Remember when you did this to me, Jacob? Yeah, and right. and, and the second thing is, uh, which I kind of just forgot because I do that a lot, but I think it's going to come back to me. Come on, baby. It's because I interrupted him. <laughs> Cut off his thought. <laughs> no, but, but, like, realize that, like, you and I are having this conversation, and I feel like, you know, you're a good guy. You've done a lot of work on yourself. You've experienced a lot. And I feel like I'm a good person. I make good decisions and worked out well for us both, for the most part. And, and with this being said, that... There's no outside answer. We can't put each other on pedestals. We don't put other people on pedestals. Right. Nobody has, nobody knows the answers. Like, you know, like there's a lot of different practices, places that different people like to go, right. church. 
AA, uh, what else? There's all kinds of different practices, and it's good, it's important that we don't put other people on pedestals, professional athletes, right? And just anything. Entertainers. Yeah, dude, oh. musicians. But anybody, what we're talking about, we're just, we're the same. It's like exactly. me, you, and then you, or whoever's watching this, like, that's it. And, and we're all equal, we're all the same. I'm not fucking anything special. You ain't, either are you. But however, like, what's special is that we can sit and connect in this way, even though it's through technology but, and not in person like we're having, which is, I believe is the best, of course. You know, it's, it's, ama- it's, a, it's amazing, right? It's, those are just, right, I know, 100%, because, you know, and, and sometimes to some people that may sound cliche, but it's not, because at our core, you know, and that energy in the inside of us, it's all the same. Like, it's the same, you know? And it's... We all came from the same place and we're all going to the same place, you know? And it's like these, when you think of like time, right? And you think of time being infinite in a a sense because the universe, the multiverse is going on forever. Like our lifetimes are actually really short when you think of how vast that is, you know? And we come here for these, yeah, 100%. And we come here for these experiences with each other for a reason. Because at the end of the day, how unique each one of us are. Sorry, what's the score to the Angels game? <laughs> We're still the same, you know? And nobody's pain is worse than anybody else's Tied. pain. Tied? Tied. It's fine. Yeah, right. yeah, let's hope he wins. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. No, no, no worries. But, I'm you know? not really sorry. <laughs> That's just something that just subconsciously comes out that I don't ever mean. But I'd say it anyways. Right, sorry, not sorry. Subconsciously so saying I'm not sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one's free. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. But, you know, like, as you just see, we're just like you. Everybody, we laugh, we joke, we cry, we have pain. There's days we get out of bed super motivated, and there's days we don't want to get out of bed at all. There's days we want to be around a bunch of people, and there's days that we want to be by ourselves. You know, all these feelings are normal your feelings are normal and you know we're not doctors or we're not like psychiatrists therapists or anything but we're just people who dealt with shit you know that didn't kill us you know some people may have thought that it would have and that we wouldn't be here right now glowing you know might i say glow up (laughs) no literally i literally like i was looking at pictures of me like six months ago a year ago two years ago even like four months ago and i was like a whole new being. And I was literally still in the sun a lot then. Like, I was in the sun a lot. I was doing, playing fucking golf every day, watching Good Good on YouTube. Right, right. Very active. And for something, I don't, like, lately, like, I, I'm glowing. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. I see in the mirror and I'm like, right. this is crazy. I don't know it what's comes from on. the inside. I'm telling you, it comes from the inside. Yeah. You know, you just have to keep going no matter what. Like, cause, because think if, all those times that we thought we were gonna give up, imagine if we did. All the, the good stuff we would have missed out on. Hey, I've gotten close. Close, but you didn't. To, you know? Yeah, yeah. You're right here, right now. In the, in the senses of like, well, I'm done with this. This man is the first yoga teacher in MLB history for a major league baseball team. So I, didn't imagine, do it. I didn't do much. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, but imagine, but imagine if you gave up then. I didn't do my <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, bro. All thanks, you know. Hey, you already and, know. Dude, I didn't know this. Right. A man said somewhere over there in the corner with <laughs> I just keep going. Yeah, but you know what? I've been able to apply that to everything. And you know how you hear something from someone and you go, damn it, I'm going to hear this. I just heard that. I'm going to hear it. It's going to resonate. And tomorrow, next week, something is going to be gone. Right. Right. This... I, I, I heard this one time from this guy back in Cloverdale about a month and a half ago. Just just when I got that phone call from the angels. And he said, you didn't do anything. That was a gift. And you, you just need to pay attention to how you didn't do anything. Bro. That just happened. Like it happened. It was a gift. You, you deserve it in some kind of way from... Wait, so there, there's one thing, yeah, there's one thing I have to point out, because, I, you know, we talked about this earlier, too, is he did do something, though, because all these years, 
Yeah, well, no, so, all these years that he mastered his craft, right, and became the expert that you are, and changed other people's lives, you know, like that all leads to something. People don't realize how to enjoy the fruit of their labor. Like, like you got to enjoy the fruit of your labor. Oh, trust me, I've learned from traveling not to be frugal. <laughs> And like not, and just, of course, just, you know. And I'm like, dude, whatever. I just want to have a great time, enjoy it with who I'm, whoever I'm, who I'm with, yeah. and just like fill the day with growth, companionship. But, you know, my point is, when you work hard at something, right, year after year, you may not see that result the way you thought you wanted to, but if you keep going, trust me, it's gonna happen in another way, in another form, because you get what you give. It's universal law. We can't escape it. We never will. <laughs> you get what you give. Yes. That's how it is. All right, so you have one more little quick thing you want to say before we wrap this up. Uh, Shoot. Love you guys. Without a doubt. Just keep going. Yeah. Just keep keep breathing. Just keep breathing. (laughs) How about you? Do you have one last thing to say? Oh, yeah, for sure. (laughs) When life hands you a, a stick of shit <laughs> there might be a, a jawbreaker attached to the other end too so it's not always I feel like it's a balance so who and, likes jawbreakers yeah, anymore I do I have one I have one right now I need to go <laughs> break it right now that's my treat but uh, yeah thanks for thanks for tuning in you guys if you watch this whole video I hope it helped you in some way shape or form my Instagram is Jacob Manning Yoga Homie's Instagram uh, is Claude Exama, C L A U D E E X A M A. Anyways, that's Claude's <laughs> Instagram. That's mine. Uh, you can send us direct messages if you have any questions. You can leave a comment below if you have anything that you want to say that you relate to or anything at all. Please like the video, share with somebody who is going through a hard time and not having a hard time waking up in the morning, feels a little bit lost in their life, maybe going through some trauma. And uh, you have a great rest of your day. Love you guys. Peace out.